Today's episode is about hustle, no matter what. By the way, see, I'm filming an episode, filming an episode. Look at that, meta, meta, how meta? We're in the matrix here. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm looking like a retard. Well, more retarded than usual. You know what was retarded? I wasn't even filming. Anyways, guys, this is getting really crazy. Look at the matrix. We're filming and we're filming and we're filming. We're doing so many meta things. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm recording this time, see? All right, well, if you guys couldn't figure it out again, was today's episode's about hustle. Let's get the hell out of here. Did I, man, did I even post that or not? All right, it's posted. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. So, about a, a little bit too many groceries today. So look, I'm gonna carry you. Look at this. All right, hold on, let me get this right here. It's gonna be an interesting walk, let's do this. All right, well, well, welcome back guys to another vlog. As you guys can see, started a little hectic, trying to get some shit done. I'm trying to get my groceries out here again. I'm trying to do some double duty. I'm trying not to get run over by that lady. It's uh, I'm already getting pretty late in the afternoon. We have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. Oh man, it's hot and humid. I see, there's uh, sprinklers. All right, so, well, today's episode is all about getting shit done and hustle and getting to work and making shit happen no matter what, at, at all cost. So, As you guys can see, I got my hands full, but as you guys also know about me, just because I got my hands full doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's time to stop. In fact, if you got your hands full, that means things are going well, right? So you gotta keep that juggling act going. You can't drop anything. See, I'm not the only one with my hands full. It's all about that hustle, man. And again, about the hustle it's easy it's easy to hustle if you're doing what you love i know i keep i sound like a broken record repeating myself over and over again let me see we're gonna cross or what and right, then we're gonna cross and um yeah so like today i was wondering you know what the hell am i gonna be talking about what am i gonna be bringing up you got so many things on my mind so much shit to talk about but I always feel that as long as I have my camera out and have you guys here with me we're looking around this beautiful sights that everything's gonna be all right today's just a random episode you're probably gonna be watching this on Friday cuz I mean why not <laughs> so it's all about going hard or going home and um, it's not for everybody. It really is not for everybody. And I, to I totally get that. <laughs> and um, you know, this episode's probably gonna be piggy piggybacking off something I was filming earlier, talking about you know toxic people and so on and so forth, and toxic uh, situations in your life. And sometimes we know that they're there. Sometimes we don't know that they're there. But the point is, is to eliminate them. And uh, sometimes we eliminate them by our own power. Sometimes the universe eliminates them for us. But the point is, is that you gotta be aware that they exist. You gotta be aware of, uh, of your surroundings at all costs, at all times. And, um, Look at that. Where are they going? <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, again, today's episode is just uh, me walking, talking, not really saying much, obviously. I don't, have, I don't know. 
feel like I got my mind so full of other shit that it's uh it's hard to focus but again it's really not hard to focus you know I guess that's why my mind is kind of clear at the moment I'm just trying to see if I can translate that through the camera because again going through a lot of shit you have either two options either you curl up into a ball and let the world beat you up and destroy you or you stand up rise like a phoenix and uh blow that shit up and um you know that's what i'm doing right now you know so you know in a weird way oh look here i'll i'll, I'll show you this it looks a model doing model stuff so like in a weird way in a weird way um by you focusing and doing what you want to do it helps a lot it really helps a lot when you got to deal with bullshit because when uh when you have a lot of bullshit to deal with because look we all got bullshit we all got things in life that suck that we got to deal with some of them again it's all about that control you know a lot of these things sometimes we just can't control them they just like pop into our lives and uh, we got to just find a way figure it out how to deal with it and um if you are focused on what you need to do if you're focused on your life on where you're gonna go on all these important factors <laughs> it's uh if you're focused on all these fucking things right hold on a sec <laughs> if you're focused on all these things it's it's really hard to to let other shit get you unfocused it's as simple as that And sometimes, like for example, I'm hoping I'm getting some sort of good view here. And sometimes, for example, when you're so busy, busy juggling so many things as I am right now, it really is hard for these other extracurricular things to mess you up, to get in your way. Because you're so focused on juggling, you're so focused on not dropping the camera, not dropping the package, not doing, not dropping that, not dropping the ball. And when you're so focused on all that shit, and you're focused on like what's really important out there, all of a sudden all these other things that are not important, you know, start making their way, start making their way out of your life, literally. And uh, you know, once once you can kind of like see this shit kind of like a Jedi master type of shit where you've seen it so many times you can recognize the patterns it's it's um it's a beautiful thing and uh it really is all about just um doing you and being you and enjoying your life and uh not really apologizing for being yourself and that's it and the universe will greatly reward you it really will and it's all about again you know let's just talk about karma for a millisecond here but the universe will reward you good or bad so depending on the energy you put out there into the, the world into the universe depending on how that shit's gonna come right back at you so even though i might be receiving uh a little bit of negativity in my life right now even though everything's crazy positive but again nothing's perfect but there is still like a little bit of element of negativity in my life that has nothing to do with me just outside uncontrolled stuff the thing is that deep down inside, I know I might I might deserve a little bit of uh, the situation because I myself wasn't the best human or probably didn't act the, the best way at other points in my life. And that's what karma is. It could always come, whatever goes around comes around, you know, like the old saying goes. And so if you do, if you've done bad or some shady shit at some point in your life, it's gonna come back around. Now, if you learn from it, and you, and you do good on it, then it's gonna be awesome for you. If you don't, you're gonna keep repeating the same cycle over and over again. And until, you know, you're old and gray, and you're like, holy shit, I've been acting like a fucking two-year-old my whole life. And uh, that whole thing. So, you know, it happens, it happens all the time. Some people grow, some people don't grow. But it's, um, you gotta focus on yourself, and you can't be focusing on whether other people are growing or not. 
whether other situations are getting better or not. You know, you got to focus on yourself and the people that matter to you and love you and you love and, and matter to you and, and that whole situation. And that's that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. You just got to really just focus on that and, um, you know, just blur out the noise. Literally. Literally. You got to just get rid of that noise. And we've talked about noise many times as well. Here. here uh, uh. Trying not to drop this. <laughs> the juggling. The juggling is hard sometimes. But anyways. We've talked about that many times here before. And uh, man, it's hot. It's hard. See, this, this shit's a challenge. You know, that's why I like doing it. I like putting myself through this little bit of a challenge, you know? It's fun. See, like, let's see if I can do this. See if I can make it happen. I surprise myself all the time. And that's the thing, you know, again, you got to challenge yourself in all aspects of life, constantly. When bad shit happens, you can't sit down and cry. When bad shit happens, you got to, like, stand up and take full advantage of that. Like, one million percent. Like, for reals. Because that's all life is. It's a bunch of... It's a bunch of fucking shitty shit, one thing after another. And um, every once in a while you get some really good shit that happens. But it's up to you. It's up to you on how you decide all this shit affects you or what have you. All right, hold on a second. I need to, I'm gonna put you down for one second, second. But it's all up to you. It really is all up to you. you you're the one with the decision on whether you're gonna have life beat you up or you're gonna enjoy life so much, so much that life has no other choice but to give you awesomeness. And that everything that life throws at you, it's, it's just awesome, no matter what, no matter how bad, no matter how shitty, no matter how uh, anything. Because you know, obviously the awesome stuff is easy. You know, all the good stuff is easy. All the, you know, but it's it's the hard stuff, man. It's being able to get all the hard shit that happens to you, to everyone out there, and, get, and being able to get that, mold that into something better. And that's it. You know? Um, simply, you know, simply said, the reason I'm kind of talking about these things lately, the last episode, this episode, you know, is basically... Is it's basically because oof is hot. Life, life is fucking hilarious, you know. It really is, and uh, you should you got to really know. How many times have you guys seen my forehead? I just realized that every time I keep pushing my glasses up, I'm gonna get some new glasses. But life is really like a fucking amazing adventure. It really is. It's like the most fucking awesome thing ever. And uh, if you know how to ride the fucking waves, you can take full advantage of how awesome it is. If you don't know how to fucking ride the waves, you're gonna be fucking drowning in that fucking ocean your whole life, literally. I mean, I mean, I don't know what else to to say. And that's why I, again, you know, um, in order for you to survive within those waves that you're gonna be surfing in, is that you gotta you gotta do a lot of practice. You gotta you gotta be able to be in shape. Um, not just physically, but mentally, in order to handle that. And uh, a lot of people just aren't. And they realize that in order to surpass certain things, they gotta go and do some other kind of work. You know, they gotta go to the gym, they gotta do you know some mental therapy, they gotta do a million things, just so they can go over that hump and be the best surfer ever. In order to be the best surfer ever, hold on. In order to be the best surfer ever, it's not just, you know, surfing. There's so many more things that are part of the whole game. And, uh, you know, just not everybody wants to put in that work. And um, that work can come in many, 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 many forms. And um, a lot of it is mental. It really is. A lot of it is just mental work. And, uh, you know, just being able to get over these hurdles. Um, and, And then, you know... When shit, when that that way, when you know, when you when you become mentally strong and you're able to handle all these things, all of a sudden, 
when life throws you stuff, you know, when life throws you really, really difficult situations, they're extremely easy to deal with, you, you know, and like the, the more you deal with these situations, the better you get at them. And uh, eventually it gets to the point where no matter how hard life gets, it's not hard. It's really just a part of the journey, part of the, part of the adventure, part of the fun. And, uh, and that's it, you know what I mean? Like for example, you know, right now I'm having a lot of fun not having a windsock. I can feel it's a little windy. Seems like a good opportunity to have a windsock, but I have chosen. I have chosen to, to go crazy and not have a windsock attachment to this thing because I'm just crazy like that, you know? And that's why I always encourage you guys to, to do crazy shit like that too. Like, you know, not have a windsock. <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm wearing that windsock episode a little, I mean, there was windsock uh, meme troll at a little bit too, too thin there, but it is what it is. Oof, I'm almost home, tired. Working, working my muscles here. All right, hold on. I gotta switch arms again. Woof. But again, in order for for me to get to this point where it's like very um, like I can't give up. I don't give up on anything. I'm always just going hard. You know, I, I get to the point where it's like again, I don't give up. I gotta be defeated. But in order for me to have gotten to this point, I have gotten. I've, I've been through so much fucking shit. I have given up before. I have failed a million times before. But again, it's all about it's not how many times you fail, it's how, how you get up and what you can do once you do get up. And that and, and all that and all, you know all that that comes with it. I mean for reals. Um you know, let me throw a little micro Jordanism at you guys real quick. But you know, the reason that reason that Michael Jordan you know, reason that Michael Jordan was able to... I forgot the, the quote, man. He has so many fucking awesome quotes. But there's like this one quote that... That pretty much said that the reason he was able to, you know... Knock down so many points... Was because there were so many more points that didn't land. And it's uh, it's all about those shots, you know. You just gotta keep taking those shots. The minute you stop taking those shots is the minute that you lose. That you lost your opportunity. You lost the game. You can't never stop. You gotta always keep going no matter what and you will be paid you will be repaid for your efforts or you really will you really will if your heart's in the right place things always come around man they just always do and just like again if your heart is in the wrong place things always come around they just always do life is life no one's perfect but you know again even if you do commit mistakes out there you know you can use them to your advantage to grow and become a better human and and help not just yourself but others or you can keep committing the same mistake and eventually it fucking just destroys you and that's it I mean, that's, that's it it's all about living and learning it's all about hustling it's all about making it fucking happen and at the end of the day just doing it just as nike says just do it it's as simple as that all right so all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this walk and talk with this very jittery and juggly walking and talking um, I have made it to my destination and I will let you guys go and I will see you guys tomorrow as usual same time same bad time same bad channel thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and more importantly stay awesome love you guys peace and I'll see you guys uh, the next time Woo! nice little workout there this thing weighs a lot. You have no idea how much. I got like a like a whole pig in there. I'm going to roast. I don't. I don't have a pig in there. I'm the only pig. All right. Later, guys.